वेलकम टू ई एल टी भास्कर सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर वॉचिंग मोर सच इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियोज ऑन इंग्लिश बेस्ड ग्रामर एंड लैंग्वेज स्किल्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील हियर विद अ ग्रामेटिकल आइटम द डिफरेंस बिटवीन लिटल एंड फ्यू वी ऑल नो दैट लिटल एंड फ्यू आर नोन एज क्वान्टिफायर्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम लिटल एंड फ्यू देर आर अ फ्यू मोर क्वान्टिफायर्स बट टूडे आर फोकस विल बी on little and few only the words related to little and few are of various types like little a little the little few a few the few oh, oh don't get confused yes they seems to be seem to be confusing but the difference between little and few and the different quantifiers of little and few is very simple so watch the video till the end and do hit the bell icon and subscribe the channel for watching more such videos so let's begin with the difference between little and few what is the basic difference between little and few well we will learn that while little denotes quantity and used before uncountable nouns and abstract nouns few it denotes number and is used before countable plural nouns so the basic difference between little and few that we must keep in mind is that while little denotes uncountable or used before uncountable nouns and abstract nouns few is used before countable plural nouns hope this much is clear to you so let's move on to the next section where we will particularly deal with little what yes it is for uncountable and abstract nouns as mentioned just now so let's take some random examples little time a little effort little growth little care the little sugar little money a little kindness the little value don't you think all the examples cited here are either uncountable noun or abstract noun yes they are so now we will learn what is the particular use of little let's take an example here is a sentence which reads mr bose has little time to spare for the function as he will leave the station early in the morning now by the word little which is highlighted here with red ink do you think mr bose has a uh, very little time or less time or much time what does little mean here that's the question well little has here a negative force yes little means here almost none or hardly any yes mr bose has almost no time to spare for the function that's what is meant here i hope the meaning of little is clear to you now so what is the use of a little yes we will know that very shortly let's take an example for that purpose we still have a little money with us it will help us to purchase the bus fare now in context to the sentence the second sentence in context to the entire uh, paragraph the second sentence reads it will help us to purchase the bus fare so don't you think a little means uh, there is some amount of money left with the speaker yes that's what it means so a little has an affirmative sense quite in contrast to little an affirmative sense which means a positive sense and therefore it means a small quantity okay so little why little means almost no or hardly any a little means at least some or a small quantity 
Now let's see what is the usage of the little. The little help I could have extended for you is over now. Now please pay your attention uh, specifically to the little. Try to understand it minutely and carefully. The little help I could have extended for you is over now. So what do you think the meaning of the little is? Well, to explain it, I must say that the little has a negative, uh, a double force. Not a negative force, but a double force where we will find both positive and negative sense. How? Because the speaker says the little help I could have extended for you. Which means the speaker deli deliberately wanted to help the person spoken to with all his effort. But the sorry part of the sentence is the speaker admits that he could not do so. So he wanted to help all that he could but he could not do anything. So that is where a negative and a positive force is working. So the use of little is the little has a double force one negative and the other positive. What is the positive part? That the speaker wanted to help all that he could do to the person spoken to but the sorry part or the negative part is that he could not do anything so the little has a double force where we will find both negative and positive force working side by side now after a little discussion on the use and usage of little let's come to the usage of few as already mentioned Yes, few is used for un for countable plural nouns. Let's take some random examples like few members, a few students, the few chocolates, few programs, a few pages, the few shops, few food, a few lines. Again, I like little few a few and a few have different meanings and to know what the meanings are we have to take some examples what are the examples then let's begin with few first I am new in this city and I have few friends here so again few is used in the line with little there we have discussed that little means almost none. Here few also means the same. So what is the rule? Yes, few is opposed to many. It has a negative force and therefore means almost none. So that's what the meaning of few is. I have few friends means I have almost no friend. Let's come to a few. This biscuit is really crunchy. Give me a few more. This biscuit is really crunchy. The biscuit is crunchy and as because the speaker liked it, he wanted a few more. So the meaning I guess is very obvious that the speaker wanted a few more biscuits. Some more biscuits. So the rule is a few is opposed to none. So in contrast to few, a few means some. Why few meant no? Almost none, a few means some, some amount, at least some. Okay, so now come to the next part of few that is the few. The few friends I had left me when I needed them very much. The few friends I had left me when I needed them very much. So here again, the few has a double force. What is the double force? That at one hand it suggests some positive sense and at another hand it suggests a negative sense. How? The speaker says the few friends I had. So all the friends, the few friends here refers to all the friends the speaker had left him when he needed them very much. So the positive sense is that all the friends, the presence of all friends in his life and the negative force is that so what there are so many friends in his life but nobody turned up when he needed them 
so there is a double force that which is very apparent the few has a double force one negative and the other positive quite in line with the little so if you can understand if you have understood what are the uses of little a little and a little it is very easy to understand what are the uses of few a few and a few the basic difference between the two is that while little suggests uh, or denotes a quantity and used before uncountable and abstract nouns few denotes number and used before countable plural nouns that's the basic difference so now it's time for application so application of the knowledge we have gained so far what is those applications let's take some exercises i have das enemies but they can do me das harm so you have to fill up the gap well i'll help you give me das ink that i may write more pages this book can give you das lesson but has das to teach me i care das for him so i will so i call him up whenever to know about his illness so now in this sentence in this exercise we have to fill up with whatever we have learned so far with the different uses of few and little so let's begin i have a few enemies but they can do me little harm so look there is a contrast of ideas with the help of the word but so i have a few enemies it's not that i don't have any enemies i have a few enemies but the contrasting idea begins here they can do me a little harm no if i write a little harm then what is the use of but here so they can do me little harm which means almost no harm give me a little ink that i may write a few more pages give me a little ink i want to write a few more pages and therefore i want little ink or a little ink yes little ink because a little ink why because little ink means almost no ink then what is the purpose of writing a few more pages if you don't have any ink right so give me a little ink a little means as i as discussed in this video some a little ink so that i may write a few more pages some more pages right come to exercise number 3 this book can give you a little lesson but has little to teach me this book can give you a little lesson but has little to teach me so in terms of the speaker says in terms of the lesson in terms of the syllabus in the book uh this book can be helpful to you it can give you a little lesson some lesson but it has little to teach me because i am already uh aware with the book i am already aware the knowledge one gets from the book so it hardly can teach me so little means hardly any number 4 i care a little for him so i call him up whenever i come to know about his illness students uh, mistakenly the word he is typed here actually it will be i i care a little for him so i call him up whenever i come to know not he but i come to know about his illness another set of uh, exercises are there let's continue with question number 5 it says there is dash to be said in support of his shameful conduct so the speaker says somebody has conducted uh, committed something very shameful which is very scornful uh, and therefore there is nothing to be said in support of his shameful conduct because whatever the speaker the person spoken of here is has committed there is no one to support it so there is nothing to be said or in support of Act. And therefore, there is little to be said. Give me the little sugar you have. It's urgent, so I want all the sugar you have because it is all you have left with. 
and after that you will be left with none so give me the little sugar you have which means you have some amount of sugar stored with you or left with you and all that you have i want so the speaker wants all that you have so give me the little sugar you have here also we find the double force working okay one negative and one positive what is the positive sense that yes there are the sorry there is sugar some amount of sugar then the negative force is that that after it is taken there will be left no none okay so it's urgent question number seven pour a little milk into the cup milk abstract now sorry milk is not abstract but it is uncountable now so pour a little milk into the cup so where there is uncountable now we will use little pour a little milk i want into the cup so i want some milk to be poured into the cup you can expect a few more men number nine this tv channel is not good it shows few good programs so when i am when the speaker is talking about uh, is not liking the channel a particular channel so definitely the programs showed there or telecasted there is not he doesn't like those programs so he chose few good programs few means again here yeah? almost all right anyway anyways whatever we have learned here i hope it is uh, the understanding uh, is becoming clear to you if not you can watch this video time and again and please if you like the video do subscribe it and also hit the bell icon so that i can come up with more such interesting videos for making english based grammar and language skills in a simplified manner for presenting the skills in a simplified manner thank you for watching hope you liked it do like and subscribe